microplastic in toothpaste. So first, what even is microplastic? Microplastic are tiny plastic particles that pollute the environment. In this concept, we include particles of different shapes and structure. A general definition of microplastic doesn't exist, but it has been accepted that microplastic are particles smaller than 5 millimeters, so on the border between visible and microscopical. We divide microplastic into two main categories. First, we have primary microplastic, so these are the particles that come into the environment directly. They are the granules in cosmetic products and particles that are made during the abrasion of larger objects. Second, we have secondary microplastic, which is made with the decomposition of larger pieces into smaller ones because of the environmental effects. Now something about microplastic in toothpaste. Um, most time, microplastic is used in toothpaste as a cheap filler. Carbomere and PVP are the most common types of microplastic in oral hygiene products, and Poloxamer, PIG32 and PIG12 are the most common types of skeptic microplastic in the products. PIG or PEG is short for polyethylene glycol, and it's a mix of polyamer compounds that are all connected between each other. Polyethylene is the most common type of plastic, and in the combination with glycol, it becomes a dense and sticky liquid. Pigs usually have a number behind them, for example, pig 6, that represents the molecular mass of the compound. Traditional toothpaste can contain numerous ingredients that aren't added to improve the cleaning effectiveness, but so that the toothpaste can be sold easier. However, these matters can be harmful for our health. Here, we have listed five ingredients that you should avoid. The first harmful ingredient is triclosan that is normally added to toothpaste as a disinfectant. It can cause disturbance in the hormonal system or the muscle function, and it can affect embryonic development. It also destroys the bacteria of the mouth nuclear flora. Formaldehyde can harm the mucosa in the mouth and the esophagus, and it can lead to an incorrect cell division. It is used mainly for disinfection and conservation. An ingredient such as paraben can cause allergic reactions in our body. These reactions are different depending on the individual, but they can also be dangerous. Toothpaste get their typical almost light blue and green color because of the addition of synthetic pigments and matrices. Some pigments cause an incorrect cell division and poisonings, and they can also affect embryonic development. Typically, they also add microbits to toothpaste so that they can achieve stronger friction. Yet, this microplastic cannot decompose itself and it is a threat to living water animals which consume it. These animals are then eaten by us and the microplastic starts to accumulate in our body. For example, in two recent studies, they found particles of plastic present in lungs and blood. Studies have shown that microplastics can cause a possibility of metabolic disorders, neurotoxicity, and carcinogenic effects. It is proven that microplastic can disrupt the normal hormonal activity and can eventually lead to increased body weight. Certain microplastic, for example fire retardants, could affect the brain development of the fetus and also a normal brain development in children. Still, there is not enough information to confirm the effect of microplastic on our health. There are three types of fluoride, sodium, tin, and monofluorophosphate. Tin fluoride, if correctly formulated by, is the only type out of the three that surpasses the carer's protection and helps fight against the gum diseases, sensitivity, and protects from the effect of acid erosion. Sorbitol is an ingredient that helps the toothpaste to keep the smooth shape, and also the sweet taste. Unlike sugar, the sweetener doesn't cause caries and it is safe for teeth. Glycerol is an ingredient that prevents the toothpaste from drying out and also makes sure that its texture always stays smooth. Most commonly used abrasive is calcium carbonate. When you brush your teeth, the ingredient helps to remove the dental plate and surface stains. Other abrasives include magnesium carbonate, silicates, phosphate salts, hydrated aluminum oxidase, dehydrated ciliar gels, and etc. Abrasives are resistant to dental plaques and are gentle to your enamel, which ensures a smooth feeling of cleanliness without any injuries. Sodium lauryl sulfate, which is used to create the foam action, can cause mouth injuries or oral ulcers to certain people. 
If you normally don't get those, then the ingredient is completely safe to use. Now here is a recipe for a homemade toothpaste that anyone can make at home by themselves. The recipe is not difficult and it includes ingredients that you can find in any store. All you need are 6 spoons of coconut oil, 6 spoons of baking soda, 15 drops of peppermint essential oil and if you wish you can also add a spoon of stevia. Now all you need to do is melt the coconut oil and then mix the other ingredients in. After that you pour the mixture into a smaller bowl and let it completely cool off and then you have your own homemade toothpaste.